every other program I've written on this channel starts with int main and then some empty parentheses, but today I've got some new information in between those parentheses to keep track of the number of arguments or the argument count and the argument values. So what am I talking about? So in this case it actually is easier I think to show what happens when you compile it and run it and then talk about what the code means. So I'm going to compile this program and I can run it with a.out on my system. I have to say the current working directory to say where a.out is. You may not need that part. And a.outs are default executable. We run it and this is what's printed out. argc or my argument count is one. So that's just an integer that is going to keep track of how much we typed when we were running this on the command line. If we had typed a dot out hi there then all of a sudden there's three words on that command line so our argument count is going to be three the second part of this uh, inside the parentheses is an array of an array of characters so each of the words that i'm typing a dot out and hi and there they can each be represented as arrays of characters and there's three of them so we've got an array of an array of characters we can take a look at the first array of characters, which is our executable, and then I've got hi and there. So my little for loop here is going through as many times as argc variable, the integer that represents the count of the arguments, and argv, short for argument values, we can look at what is inside of there. So this is how you would run it on the command line and if you do not want your executable to be called a dot out there is a way when you're compiling it to give it a dash o option and we can call it whatever we want i'm going to call mine like um run me <laughs> okay that's an executable name so it tells you what to do with it run that program and then we can do the same thing we can say i can say run me um and then like hi and now I've got an argument count of two and here is each of those things on the command line. I know some of my students like to use the online GDB tool that has at the very bottom of it a way to pass things into main the command line and then they've got this box so I can say um, hey class or something like that so I've got another two arguments that I want to pass in on the command line and when I run this it adds that on to the command line argument for oops let me I have to select my language first um, this is C programming and it's going to add this on to the default executable name a dot out and it's going to run it and say the argument count is C the argument um, values are these three values. Now the the argc and the argv, there's nothing special about that. That's just programmers trying to have descriptive names but not write variables that are really, really long. It's short for argument count and argument values. But there's nothing to stop you from calling this like Larry and Mo or something, uh, except for the fact that that doesn't give you self-documenting code. But I could call those two things whatever I want. So we've got our Larry variable and we've got our mo variable and it's going to do the exact same thing when I run it is we passed in hey there or hey class and we've got a dot out so our argument count is still three and the argument values are a dot out hey and there so really useful to be able to pass things into main just like you pass things into any other function